Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on the ground and that is because we are filming a snack little taste test video. This video is in partnership with Munch Pack. Now Munch Pack, I believe it is a subscription box and it will send you snacks from around the world. So it's not just one specific part of the country or a different state, it is from all over. I'm very excited to dig into this giant box to see what we are going to try today. All right, so we're just gonna hop on into it. I'm too excited. I got this box like three days ago and it has been sitting in my room taunting me. So we're just gonna hop on in. Whoa, look at this. This is just a very magnificent box. Oh my goodness. When you open the box, oh, Munch Pack has given me a promo code. And this promo code is Sarah Ramos, and it is valid for $3 off, and it expires in exactly a year. So if you guys want to use it, go ahead and can. I will also link down in the description as well, so if you want to try out Munch Pack, you can do that as well. Ooh, and there's some goodies, little preview here. There's a drink. Ooh, I probably should have like, ooh, it's actually cold. Very strange. We have a bunch of goodies in here. I am so excited. I am literally so excited, I have no idea. I like how they have labels on them, like every single. So I am noticing right as I open the box, I'm looking at all these products and every single one of them has a little label on it and it tells you what it is, the company name, and what exactly the taste is supposed to be and what country it's from. So that is super awesome. I am here for that all the way. Okay, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer. Sorry if I like butcher the name of these. Like, I'm just trying my best here, okay? So, first thing we have here is the Jack and Jill Piatos Nacho Pizza Chips. It says tangy tomato and nacho cheese chips with pizza flavor. Ooh, and this is from the Philippines. How exciting. One thing I love about doing these videos is like, I only taste a little bit in the videos and then I can share with my friends and family and just show them different snacks. Like my Tokyo Treat Box, we literally had that for months. Ooh, these smell like um, pizza goldfish. Have you guys had this before? I just zoomed you guys in a little bit closer, but here we go again before we were interrupted by myself. This is what the chip looks like. It smells like pizza goldfish. Here for that, let's give it a little taste test. Whoa, I am getting an explosion of flavors. For sure, it tastes like pizza. You can, literally feels like I took a bite of real pizza, but I didn't. It's a chip. I'm not really getting the nacho cheese and tomatoes, but I think that's just because cheese and tomatoes are already on pizza, like in, in it, so that's probably where the whole pizza thing is coming from, but dude, this seriously tastes like pizza. This isn't a chip I could see myself just like snacking on all day because it does taste like I'm getting a full course meal even though I'm not. Like, there's a ton of chips in here because they're so little and none of them are broken, but like, these are good. These are really good. We're gonna rate these chips out of, we'll do out of five. So. I'm gonna rate these a three out of five, just because I really like them, but I don't think I could snack on them, which also could be good, because I'm not gonna be eating a ton. So we're done with the savory. We're gonna go and see if I can find something sweet. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Here we have Maynard's Fuzzy Peach. Um, these are soft and chewy peach flavored gummies, and they're from Canada. This is so cool. I love peach flavored gummies. It's a little washed out, but they're shaped like little mini peaches. This is so cute. Ooh, they smell like, they smell like peach rings. I love peach rings, so let's give it a try. That's good. It tastes like a peach ring. Not as like, I don't know how to explain it. Peach rings give me like the feel of like nausea. Like if I eat too many peach rings, it's almost like I feel disgusting, but these don't have that, but it is definitely sweeter. I don't know what it is, but it is sweeter than like peach rings, but it's good. These are a four out of five. I don't want to give it a five yet. Maybe it'll be a five in the end. They're good. There's little like crystals of little sour sweet flakes. These are Ruffles Sour Cream and Bacon Chips. Savory chips with a tangy sour cream and smoky bacon flavor. And these are from Canada also. I can't wait to try these. I love Ruffles so much. So that's exciting. Ooh, you can smell the bacon. It smells like, ooh. It smells like barbecue Lay's. What the heck? 
You can really taste the bacon. It tastes like I'm eating like a like a cheesy baked potato with bacon on it. That's really good. This is dangerously good. Ooh, okay. So here we have a Yuki and Love Sin Coolie Grains Bar Egg Yolk. Crispy cookie bar flavored with egg yolk, and this is from Taiwan. This is interesting. So egg yolk. Hmm. I don't know a lot of things have egg in it, so I'm not that surprised that egg yolk in it, but I really wonder what this is gonna taste like. This wrapper is so adorable. Here's what the little wrapper looks like. It's so cute with like these little bear guys on it. It's a cookie bar, so is it gonna be sweet or is it gonna be savory? I feel like with these type of snacks, you never really know. Ooh, okay, yeah, definitely smells sweet. When I tried the like Tokyo Japan snacks, a lot of them smelled like this. I don't know what I feel about it, as you can tell by my face. There's like this crispy outside and then in the center there's like, I don't know how to, it's like a thick like powder, but it's like a solid. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's right in the middle. That kind of caught me off guard. Like it was crispy and then all of a sudden it was like soft. And I was like, whoa, where'd that come from? I'm gonna give it a two. Just because the middle part's throwing me off. Like, I don't know. I did like it, but just that middle part, man. I don't know what, it was like chunk, it was like crunchy and then it was like soft and it was like, whoa, my taste buds are like being thrown off right now. We have these Milkita Honeydew Shake Candies from Indonesia. I didn't know that these were from Indonesia because my grandparents, who are Mexican, they get me these candies all the time, just like the regular milk flavored. And that's like a Mexican treat, it's like sweet, one of them, that they always give to us. My dad used to have them when they were little, so I don't know if this flavor is specifically from Indonesia or like the candies, like I'm not really sure where this originated from. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments because I know I've seen these. These remind me of Haichu in a way, just like, I don't know, the texture and stuff like that. So I'm excited, I really love Haichu. Ooh. That is so good. I'm gonna have another one. This, okay, I'm gonna give it a five. Just because I really like it. It's not gonna be, like I'm just giving it a five because I really like it and there's like nothing wrong with it. It doesn't make me feel gross. Like you know sometimes when you eat candy, you're like I shouldn't have ate that. No, this just makes me feel clean bean. Like, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and try the thing I wanted to wait on, but I'm too excited. They sent me a soda. Um, this is from Canada. We've had three things from Canada so far. And this is Crush. This is a crushed cream soda. Crisp cream soda with a hint of berry flavor. Ooh, I love cream soda with a hint of berry flavor. I wonder what kind of berry is it? Strawberry because it's pink or raspberry? Who knows? <laughs> it says crisp cream soda. That reminds me of Keen and JC because they call each other crisp croak dads because they drink coke a lot. Well, I'm talking about, ooh. Ooh, crisp croak! <laughs> yeah, did you hear that toad croak? I think it's funny. I hope it's not gonna explode because it's been rolling around. It's been sitting for three days, so I hope not. All right, let's try this. Ooh, I'm guessing they only have this in Canada since it's from Canada. I've never seen a crushed cream soda with berry. Ooh, I rarely drink soda, so. Ooh, it's pink. It smells like cream soda. It just tastes like cream soda. I like cream soda anyways. When I was little, like my favorite soda was cream soda, not root beer, not anything. All right, that was a good little palate cleanser. Next, we have this Moringa Fuji Gina, Fuji Gina Choco Ball Choco Banana. This is from Japan, and this is crunchy chocolate balls coated with sweet banana chocolate. Ooh, like how cute this little packaging is. Super cute. I like banana stuff. I feel like a lot of people aren't fans of um, fruit mixed with chocolate. Oh my god. I literally just smelled the box. You can smell the banana straight up. That is exploding with banana. Oh my god. Wait. This is really good. I get so sad with these little boxes because then they're gone so fast and they're like usually one of my favorites. I might give it a five out of five. This is so good. And I also realized I didn't even rate this. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's soda, you know? Next, we're gonna go with, ooh, I think the rest are like all kind of chocolate related. Ooh. All right. Ooh, okay, we're gonna try this. This is a Biscone Kokomo Biscuit, crunchy biscuit filled with sweet chocolate cream from Pakistan. 
That is so cool. They all kind of got smushed in there. That's unfortunate. It's still probably gonna taste good. Oh, huh? they have little faces on them. Their chocolate does taste more like cocoa powder more than like our chocolate here. Our chocolate here is very, very sweet. But this smaller tastes like cocoa. And I kind of really like it. It almost reminds me of like hot chocolate powder mix. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Four out of five for you. Ooh, I'm so excited. This next one is from Italy. Oh, is it melted? No, it feels so melted. Oh wait, it's just sponge cake. <laughs> this is a Balcony Rolino hazelnut roll. It's a soft sponge cake rolled with delicious hazelnut cream. Ooh, I love hazelnut. I don't know about sponge cake, but I love hazelnut. I'm Italian and this is from Italy, so I'm really excited. This looks like a ho-ho or like a ding-dong Twinkie type thing. I'm gonna be sick after this video. I've already eaten a lot of chocolate. <laughs> All right. Mmm, soft. Definitely tastes like Nutella, which is hazelnut. That is so sweet. Oh my God. I'm gonna give it a three out of five just because it's so sweet. Like so sweet. It's not my favorite. I don't know what it is. It might be the sponge cake part because I like hazelnut, but or it could be the fact that I've already eaten a lot of sweets in the matter of like five minutes on one. Oh my god. Oh, the last two are both from Poland. This is exciting. So we have a Nestle Lion Latte. This is a crunchy white chocolate and wafer bar filled with latte flavored caramel and crunchy cereal. Ooh, am I gonna get caffeinated? A latte. It's gonna taste like coffee. I have no idea. Ooh, it is white chocolate covered. Wow, okay. Let's give it a go. I haven't even been it yet. I can, I inhaled like the scent of coffee. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. All right. Oh, there's the coffee. I taste it. This is so weird to me. It's like crunchy in the center and then like the outside is so soft. It's not my favorite, just the flavoring is not my favorite. It, like, the, I get the point, it's supposed to be coffee overpowering it. I'm just not a huge coffee fan, that's probably why I don't like it, but I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Just personal preference, I'm not a big fan of coffee, but if you like coffee, this will definitely give you energy because it's literally sugar and coffee. The last thing we have is a Kit Kat. I love Kit Kat so much. I really love Kit Kat. Like, I, one of my favorite chocolates as of recently, I don't know why, but this is a huge Kit Kat. This is a Nestle Kit Kat Chunky Salted Caramel. Is it gonna be like two thick Kit Kats or is it just one giant? Is this one giant Kit Kat? Oh my God, I'm gonna freak out. This is one big giant Kit Kat bar. You break it down the sides. I've never seen a Kit Kat like this. That is so cool. All right. That, oh my God. That is the sweetest chocolate I've had all day. You can taste the salt and the caramel, like so strong. That might be why it's literally so sweet. Right now with my stomach, I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but I'm sure if I did not eat all these sweets, I would give it like a five out of five. So yeah, I need to like cleanse my palate with this. Oh my God, that chocolate. My stomach is definitely gonna be hurting later, but I love all these snacks. That was so fun. I wanna do another one of these so bad. I get so excited over like different things from different countries. I don't know why, it's just how I am. I think it's so fascinating that we have like the same products, but they always taste different, so. If you want to see another one of these videos, let me know down in the comments like what country or like even a state. Some states have different candies, so let me know if you want me to do a certain country or state. Um, down in the comments, just leave it down there. I always read my comments every single day. You guys comment and it pops up a little notification and I read it literally all the time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Obviously I was eating, but my stomach is gonna hurt after this. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.